Hello everyone, welcome to Autogefühl. And today, this weekend, it's getting cold and snowy with the Suzuki SX4 S-Cross, the new compact crossover S or SUV, however you, you define it, from the Suzuki. And there it is coming again. So what is Suzuki doing with this car? Well, the compact SUV segment has a very high demand at the moment in Europe and also in Germany. And so that's kind of the perfect car to satisfy this kind of demand. And in the first months, the, the car is quite new to the market now. It was already very successful. As for driving the Suzuki SX4 S-Cross, it is very comfortable, you got this higher seating position and so also from for your back it's very good on long travels and then you in general have a very smooth feeling because the suspension is rather rest soft auf die Zeng, that's rest GPS auf thank you GPS so it's a very smooth ride you got but although it's a very smooth ride it is also fun to drive fast with this car that's very important that you got this compromise between sporty driving and a comfort ride. So in general, when you just step in this car and start to ride, you just get the feeling it's a good car, you got a nice interior really, and the exterior is also very nice, especially in this color. So in general, I think it's a good car, for example, for, for young families. Here you can see the effects of the panoramic glass roof, by the way, and it makes the interior is so much brighter that's very very nice as well because I love bright interiors and even if it's cloudy as it is today you get just more light here inside and well some of some of you ask me if the 120 horsepower diesel is really enough for this car and I must say yes it is enough it's totally okay for the everyday use when you're driving uphill you can use you could use some more torque like maybe 160 horsepower diesel but for the usual daily use and if you don't have to go so much uphill this diesel engine is very good and considering this low consumption you really have to be satisfied with it the exterior as you see is not very daring but daring cars are not the most sold cars usually customers are rather conservative and well so you here see it's more an evolution of the smaller SX4 Classic, how it is called now. Let's check the interior. First of all, very beautiful blue color. And we find this blue color here, just right in the instruments. That's very fitting. This one got leather seats here. They don't offer so much side support, but it's okay because it's an SUV and you sit rather upright, as you see here. And we took a, like a 100 kilometers right now and it was very, very comfortable. The steering wheel, also leather, it's rather small. And you've got also very good grip on this leather surface here. Altogether, the front looks pretty clean. There aren't so many buttons, which is very, very nice. So you, you got a really clean atmosphere here and you don't get disturbed by too many functions so it's really reduced to the necessary as for the materials we see here especially that's a very interesting surface it's kind of a perfect structure and it looks very classy actually just at the inside of the doors and above the instruments we find the, the like the classic black plastic which is not so nice I would have preferred if they would have used this kind of new material or this kind of new surface everywhere else because this looks really high class where as yeah, so the usual black plastic looks rather clumsy to the rear passengers we see we get enough leg room even for tall people but what about when I sit in here I'm like 186 meters and well I'm touching the seating okay I got the 
I got this one, but still. So that's kind of not enough for my size. <laughs> so you should probably better carry children in here in, in the back. But what is very nice when sitting here in the back, even when you're tall, you can see to the outside. You can see the sky. Okay, it's very cloudy today, but this really huge panoramic roof is especially very nice for the rear passengers. And we can also see that we can open it. We can open it here. And the difference to other panoramic glass roof is that it has a really wide opening. So you almost feel like in a convertible, even when driving in winter with snow. Coming to the trunk. Well, it's quite versatile. You see a lot of bags fit in there, so that's okay. And you can also move the back seats to the front. Let's try that. Here. It's very easy. And you see, and then you really got enough space. And about the consumption, this is the 1.6 liter diesel with 120 horsepower. And this is 5.2 liters average consumption on 100 kilometers. And that is very, very good. It's just a little bit above the noted consumption from the official manufacturer. So that's very, very good.